All right, welcome to Video Guys Live. Today, Tuesday, you give us 15 to 30 minutes. We're going to teach you all about the products we sell. That handsome gentleman over there is Roger Chow. Roger Chow works for Atomos. He's the America's Broadcast Video Sales Director. Roger, what does that mean? It just means I take care of the customers and make sure they're happy. There you go. So you are in the customer happiness business. You're my kind of guy right. because one of the things we've always done over video guys is we were the first to offer a 30 day satisfaction guarantee, product returns, frontline tech support. We want our customers to be happy. So rest assured, if you buy an Atomos product from video guys, you're going to get us as frontline. And then if you buy it from any other dealer, you're still going to get Roger as frontline. So between the two That's of right. us, a winning combination. Now, Roger, today's show, we are going to focus on what I feel is the best field monitor recorder in the industry for professional cinema shooting. Now, this is a seven inch one. We've got a five inch little brother called the Ninja, which is our best selling product for like DSLR and small cameras. But if you're really looking to do cinema level work, you want that seven inch screen. You want the extra batteries to continuously run. You want the SDI and you want all the features that are in this puppy that we're gonna go to and get into over the show. So Roger, Thank you very much for coming in. We call it the best Shogun ever because of some new uh, features that have been added and some new firmware things. So why don't we talk right off on those and get into them. But first, before we do that, got to tell people how much this puppy costs. That's my bad. Yeah, it's $12.99. $12.99, that's right. Yeah. And, and the top line features, you're getting real-time HD or 4K recording up to ProRes RAW, Dolby Vision HDR, Atom HDR, Atomos touchscreen interface. This is a phenomenal product. And Roger, now before we go on that, I see we have a video on the evolution of the Atomos Shogun monitor. So we're going to roll that video before we start talking to you. I'm sorry about that, Roger. Brought you in a little sorry. early. But you love this video too. So let's watch this video together. All right, I love that video, great overview of the features, but now we're gonna go more in depth on specific features, and that's why we got my man Roger on the show. And the first thing you wanna talk about is better monitoring. So Roger, tell us why this puppy right here is the best field, seven inch field monitor recorder in the world. Yeah, so to date, we every product from the Shogun, as you saw, was a thousand to one contrast ratio, which is pretty good, even on a seven inch. I think but that's a million to one. Today, the Shogun 7 is a million to one. That's right. So we just made it that much better. We were able to put in that much more into it and make it that much more nicer. Uh, 1,500 nit as well, but this time it was 3,000. So we were able to pump it up and give you the ability to see HDR truly up to more than 15 stops, in fact. So that means if your camera can do it, you can see it much better than it can output. So then when you bring it back into post, you know what you're getting versus... Uh, guessing your shot and then having to go back especially like the beat shots right you got really bright and really dark here and you got to guess a lot of times because you don't know if you're going to get it all or not yeah that, that's so, my favorite example of this is when you get to and it's the video footage you guys use at the shows all the time it's some sailboats on the beach with the sun with the seagulls with the water sprinkling off of the uh oh you put the video guys logo over the whole screen <laughs> With the water sprinkling, you know, the, the white cap sprinkling, you know, 
that's a great example of what the value of HDR is. Now we've done whole shows sure. on HDR, but what I'll explain for those people coming in is, is it basically, when you use a device like this or a TV, it kind of uses its own color gamut that kind of cheats and blends everything together. HDR sure. gives you really the way your eye picks up color. And the amazing thing about that is, is they've done studies and 1080p HDR to most people looks sharper than 4K non HDR because the color clarity makes you think you're seeing That's a right. sharper image. So when you compare, combine 4K, P60, HDR, Atomos Raw, you're talking about bringing your cinematography, your video productions to forget about a level with Spinal level. Tap. We're going 20 to 30, right? I mean, you're just getting so much better. That's right. So that way you can actually see what you're shooting. So that way you're not guessing. You know, this is an example that we had. Uh, so this is a small example. You see, it's kind of foggy. It's keep it up there. I'm going to have, keep it, uh, good, Roger. Yep. Uh, Adam's bringing you up full screen now. And then when you turn it on, you see you got the, video guys the details over. of the clouds. Before there were no cloud details and it's all here now. So that's the power of HDR. It can make it that much more beautiful. So the greens weren't as green. The blues aren't as blue. HDR gives you the ability to see the colors as it is. So you know you didn't miss it. So when you do grade it, you know it exists. And you also I know when you have to put it in what color space. So if you know your customer base is going to be, let's say, online only, you know to put everything to 709 because that's the only colors they're going to get. But if you have HDR capability, you know you can pump it up and let them see how vibrant the colors really are. And with the Atomos, it's pretty much the only way in field to do that. Otherwise, you're shooting, bring it back to post, fix it. Oh, we screwed up. Bring it back. Shoot it again. Fix it. Oh, we missed it. Go back to post. So it used to be you had to have the eye for it. Now anybody can do it. It unlocks creativity for everyone. We do the work for you. And from a production point of view, this has got all the I.O. you could possibly want. We've got 10-bit HD, 6G, 12G SDI, switchable loop output, 2 times 12 b output playbook, HDMI 2.0, raw over SDI, 16-bit linear raw processing. Did I miss right. anything on I.O. for this amazing product? Uh, other than that, we do have a lot of other monitor assist tools too, like focus peaking, zebra, false colors, which is what you're showing there. Yeah. Uh, blue hues for noise. Uh, we have anamorphic de squeezing, so using anamorphic lenses, it de squeezes the, the lens of how it looks. Uh, we also have uh, zebras. Uh, we have frame guides, which we'll be going over as well too. So we have a lot. I mean, this. For twelve ninety nine, typically that's just what you get for I, I, a monitor. You know, Roger, it amazes me. People buy these great cameras that have all this great, you know, color and all this great ability to shoot, and they use the monitor that it comes with that's sometimes this big, and they wonder why their video isn't looking like what they saw on the reel or what they saw, you know, the yeah, guy demo exactly. in the store. And a lot of it's got to do with is really understanding and using a product like this to truly understand the true color and the true scope and range of your camera. And without a Shogun, you're just not gonna be able to do that. And I know I bring it up all the time, but the Shogun really lets you do more and shoot better video, especially if you've got difficult lighting, outdoor lighting, high contrast lighting, and That's also right. the inverse, indoor stuff that gets really weird where HDR can really allow you to see that you really did get that person in the background or that key some object that's supposed to be in the background to foretell, foreshadow what's happening, you know, in your movie or your screenplay. So yeah. it's really a tremendous product. The next thing I want to go to is more on shooters now because we're going that way. And let's talk about some of the features in the Shogun from a field monitor production pr perspective that lets you get the perfect shot. So if we can bring this up full screen, Adam. Yeah. So yeah, as you see, because we have now the frame guides, we have a few there, uh, the nine grids, which makes it easier for even photographers. You know, photographers use this as well. Uh, false colors, we've made a little better. And and good for focus pullers too. You know, the million to one contrast ratio really makes that difference. So uh, it just looks that much crispier. And then for, for focus pullers, crispiness is everything. So if it looks bad with them, then it's gonna look bad in the recording. Yeah, I agree. And then, now let's talk about the next slide, which is, you know, multiple recording modes. Now, you take this away because you're the camera expert and you know, you, you can geek out on this a little bit. And I start to get tongue tied and mix up the different <laughs> formats and stuff. So just roll over, yeah. you know, maybe you can bring up Roger and this slide alone or just the slide and Roger will tell us about, you know, what's really up here. Because it's important stuff 
but I wanted yep. to hear it from someone who really understands it well, and that's you, Roger. Yeah, yeah. So with that, uh, there isn't much SD work nowadays. So our lowest thing that we do is HD, but it is 720 up to 50 and 60. Okay. So we have a ton all the way up to 5.7 K and we probably will get more, you know, in terms of just the mathematics and everything on paper, we can technically do up to 12 K wow. with pro with ProRes raw. Yeah. It's all in all mathematics. So that means it is, there are possibilities of doing things like that. Uh, for us today, 5.7K is the highest at 30. Uh, we have raw debayering over SDI, 4K raw, uh, 240 frames per second is our highest at 2K. So we pretty much can do what every camera can do today. Now, there's always a misconception with people saying, can my camera use this? Truthfully, today, every camera can. There really is nothing. The only reason why we say it cannot is because certain cameras, like the really low end stuff, they can't turn off their overlays. So because they can't turn it off, you're gonna record all that junk on there too. But it doesn't mean it doesn't work. You can yeah. still use it as a giant monitor. We call know? that clean HDMI output and people who do get right. into streaming, which you know that's a big part of our business, complain about that too. They're like, I love my camera. How do I get this box off there? How do I get it to not give me the ice on the menus? I'm like, unfortunately you can't. Your camera's a little bit older yeah. and I think one of the shout outs is it was Atomos that beat the heck out of these camera companies and said, That's right. stop doing this. Give us clean HDMI out, but you are limiting the functionality and the capabilities of your products. And they didn't want to listen to that. No. So in the end, people are starting to listen. I mean, as you can yet. see with HDMI raw, we have a ton of people coming with us with HDMI raw before it's only two years ago. HDMI raw was just a fantasy thing. You know, only one company came up, which was Nikon. And then Zcam came along, then Panasonic, then Sony, then Fuji, then Sigma. Everybody's coming along now because they know and they trust that this is going to work. Apple, it was just with Final Cut with Apple. Now Assimilate got it. Now uh, even Premiere. Premiere has it too. So there is, there is a use and there is life for ProRes Raw. Awesome. Now, one of the features that's uh, a little crazy because... This feature was talked about a lot and a long time coming, but it's here now. <laughs> and that right. is, is this product can actually be used in the field as a four camera live switcher. And that's, that's right. kind of really powerful when you think about it, because sometimes when you're in the field, you just want to be able to cut between shots. You don't need the fancy graphics, and everything like that. And this actually does it. You can not only can you switch, you can record all four ISOs, all four ISOs in, and your program output of your show. So then you can bring it into post-production and do a lot more. And I know there are actually people who are using this on site for some cool different things That's where right. they want to see the multiple cameras. But I like the idea of using it as an extension of switching, live switching in a hurry or when you're, you got to run and gun and you got to be as lean and mean as possible to get the job done. You can, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, but when you combine this product with this product, I can actually take any laptop and start live streaming and mixing. So I know we've got some videos to run first. The first one's from Jeremy Young, the CEO, founder of Atomos. He's gonna tell us a little about the live switching. Then we've got some other things we can go into. But let's roll that video now. The Shogun is you know, a sub $1,500 product that allows you now to do four camera records and a program stream which is called switching and we'll take you through exactly what those things are. See, I've so, got one, two, three, four feeds coming in. Three of them are cameras that I can see here and one of them is a playback from, you could, could be a computer, it could be a separate camera file. Yeah, so that you, you'll notice some new buttons. When you update the firmware to the Shogun, you'll be asked at that point, do you want to go into single record mode or multi-channel record mode? Multi-channel says switching. Ooh. So, so we're recording all of our ISOs. We can change it later in an edit scenario. And we've got XML from Final Cut in here that allows you to take what you've done here and adjust it after really quickly. So now I've got all, I'm practicing, got all my camera angles. The last thing I want to show you is how the actual ISOs are set up. So Inside settings, there is a switcher panel now. And that switcher panel allows you, if it's red, it will record. If it's not red, it won't record. You can't adjust them after in, so you can turn them off. All of them, nothing recording on all recording. Great job, Jeremy. All right, That's and right. now we're gonna talk about this little puppy, which we have over there. And this is the Atomos Connect, 
This is a device that lets you go HDMI in through USB into a laptop and it lets you live stream. Now you can live stream directly through uh, YouTube or, the, or Facebook apps or other apps. Plus you can bring it into other apps like Wirecast, OBS or vMix. So this is a super cool product for 79 bucks. What I really love about it is, is it can be combined with the Shogun or a Ninja to allow you to shoot in the field and now take your HDMI out, bring it into a laptop and actually stream. So now I want to get back to the Shogun and the Kinect. And we put together a couple of videos that we want to show you. Do we have those videos ready to roll? Adam, these are videos we put together on using the Kinect and the Shogun directly to YouTube through your laptop, and then one that shows how to do it with Wirecast. So if you can roll those while we're playing, here's the video and here are the guys that are kind of showing you how you hook up to the back of the Shogun. Then they're going to go into uh, getting up and setting up your different cameras. Yep, that's how you get into the switching mode. Yep. Perfect. And now I believe they're going to work on uh, turning it around and showing us the, uh, yep, they're going to plug it in. Now they're taking HDMI output into the Kinect, connected right. to the laptop, and there you go. And they're pulling it up, and they're streaming directly live through Facebook in this case. Now, I just want to let people know, I know on the screen you're seeing that the Facebook said Wirecast. That's because once you put Wirecast on that machine, it kind of overtakes everything. It's saying Wirecast virtual. But if you didn't have Wirecast on your computer, it just would have come in and shown it as being uh, USB 2 as your choice, or USB That's motion right. jack you're in. And Adam, if we could, I wanted you to play the one that shows us going into Wirecast because that's equally cool too, where you could just take any camera, plug it into this. It could be the Shogun with mixing and now have it come into Wirecast. You can bring those cameras into Wirecast. Let's see how we did that. And we'll be playing these videos on our website, posting them individually. But there you can see you're in Wirecast, you pull it in, boom, boom. there you go. It's really that simple. I think this took almost 10 seconds to do. So we're going to talk about the big brother of the Shogun, which is the Sumo 19. And I think what's significant here is it's back at 1995. Now, this product is bounced around a little higher and stuff like that. I know, Roger, we're always trying to get at this price. You know, <laughs> this is the price that people want to That's pay right. for it. But this is a 19 inch monitor and it's a field monitor or a studio monitor that's also a recorder that also gives you the switching capabilities we've got onto on the Shogun 7 and at 1995 I will tell you right now I am looking at a show at a sumo we actually use it here and we record the output of our TriCaster directly to a you know as a pro res so we can bring it right into Premiere or Avid to edit and I love it as part of our workflow and I use it as my monitor in the studio because it's just so great we went with a regular monitor I just I couldn't go back. I was like, no, I need that brightness. <laughs> I need that Christmas. So that's, that's right. the monitor that I love. So big shout out for the Sumo 19 back at 1995. All right. We also have the little brother of the Shogun 7, which I would love to show you one. But these things have been so hot, they're flying out the door. And I don't have one, but Roger's got one there. All the great features of the Shogun said, well, it's HDMI and it's 5-inch, but you get 4K P60, 12G, HDP 240. It's just a phenomenal product, $5.99. It's actually the best-selling product we've had over the last year. We love it. There it is, the Ninja 5, $5.99. Now, the Ninja 5 can get SDI added for $200 as the Atomex SDI. Oh, there you go. You got it ready. It's on there already. That's a little widget that plugs into the back of your uh, uh, Ninja, and it allows you to get SDI. And I just want to mention that there's a lot of different Atomex products that have been added that allow you to add different features and capabilities to your Atomos products. So Atomex cool technology expandability. Before we get into the Kinect, we're gonna talk a little bit about storage. Now, as you know, all these products on the back of them have a place where you can put a SSD drive in order to record you know, your footage and your ISO footage. And we have partnered with Angelbird. We now carry Angelbird products. That's right, why do we love Angelbird? because simply they are the best. Especially what I love is this little sucker here, which is the Atom X 4K RAW. Not only can this handle your 4K RAW at all resolutions, it's short, which I love, so it fits in on the Ninja without sticking out of the side. And once again, to show you guys, you know, you just slide it right in here. Boom, it goes in, you're off and you're recording, you're doing what you gotta do on these. What I love about these is they are beyond certified by Atomos. It's actually what you guys use there. It's got the Atom logo on it. 
The 500 gigabyte starts at 449.90. The one terabyte is 799.90, and then we have the two terabyte for 1569.90. Angel Bird, love these guys. Roger, I know you work from Atomos, but give me a little bit about the Angel Bird guys. Yeah, so we work together with them to develop these. That's why it has the stamp of approval, you know, the Atom X. So we know for sure their stuff works, especially with RAW. Uh, their minis are very good. Uh, their failure rate is not even 2%. So that's yeah. amazing. You know, most people's 5% is livable, yeah. but they're like amazing. And not everyone needs RAW. You, you, you know, we have, uh, we have the RAW ones and we have the mini ones. I, I mixed them up. So let me go now. <laughs> this is the SSD mini. These are yep. 199.90, 399.90, 549.90. This is like for the Ninja works great. This is the regular one, the big one, which is higher capacity and higher throughput. But we've got them both in stock and available for immediate delivery in all sizes. And I'm really excited about that. Okay, other big news. Yep. Drum roll, so please. Big news. Do, 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 do. So the other big news is the newly released FX9. Now we can do raw from that. So we can do ProRes RAW from the FX9 with uh, the XDCA. So you still have to buy that piece. We don't unlock it free for you. But we can now do that and also do up to 2K at 180 and 4K60 out of that. Right. Now, Without you don't paying. get that piece from me or you. You get that piece from Sony or your Sony dealer. Yep. I just want to clarify. Cool. Yep, that's right. And, um, and it's a lot. Buying these plus that Angel Bird one is still cheaper and larger than any of the media that you buy. So... You save a ton of money with us, for sure. Very, very cool. Now, you guys have been announcing new camera support since RAW came out. You were actually RAW before anyone else, but what's really great is all the major vendors have now jumped on. So Panasonic, Nikon, Sony, Canon, Fuji, Olympus, Sigma, Zcam, all now support ProRes RAW. This That's is right. just the latest one with the Sony one, but this is really exciting because I think we've reached a tipping point with RAW. And what really puts us over the tipping point? Support from the NLEs, right, Roger? That's right. So yeah. tell us, which NLEs now support RAW? Pretty much all the major guys. So at Final Cut, Premiere, Scratch Assimilate, uh, Avid, they all support us. And we're more than happy to help. You know, it was... And they're finally seeing that this is going to become an industry standard. And that's why all the other camera manufacturers, uh, camera manufacturers jump in on it as well, too, because they know this is next. And uh, what's cool, which I, I don't know if you guys uh, heard or saw, uh, Netflix has the S1H as an approved camera. And they also have with the Ninja as ProRes RAW approved for Netflix, which is awesome. Very cool. And, you know, we're going to talk about that next. And that is, you know, it's crazy because some of these developments got almost put in hibernation for six months because of COVID. Right. I mean, Hollywood really shut down completely. California only allowed a few months ago for Hollywood studios to begin shooting again. And then the fires started coming up, which has added a whole new level of, you know, making things difficult in California. But what I really wanted to stress now is Hollywood's back, baby. Universal, NBC, Netflix, over the top people are back and shooting. So if you're a shooter, if you're in California, this is what you need to have on your camera if you want to do the best possible job. Roger, one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about a little bit, and you, maybe you could tell me about it a little bit more, is, is I understand that Netflix is also coming out with a special like, carrier on their movies where now when you watch the movie, it'll adjust your TV once TVs are aware of that to match the true HD grading that the actual cinematographer in, intended for the movie. And I think that's real important because most people's televisions in the US that are 4K are set for sports, live sports, which means they don't have the right settings necessarily for those cinematography videos. If you set it up for the cinematography videos, that it doesn't work so great for live sports. This concept of Netflix of actually sending that metadata to your TV so you really get to watch the movies at home the way the cinematographer intended it, that's just, it's just wow. I mean, you guys are going to help doing it, but I just, that's one of those tech geeky things that guys like you and me just say, nice. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that's why they have used our products because with that HDR that we have, we can add that metadata, which is what's good with ProRes RAW as well, too. ProRes RAW saves all that metadata information. So if and when Netflix is ready to do it, we're already ready. All they have to do is send the data. And then at that point, that television has to be ready to see it. So once the TV can see it, it will just pop up as something as, wow, beautiful as that, you know? 
Look how beautiful that is. And that's through a freaking little mic, uh, little camera. But imagine that coming to your 4K HDR capable monitor. It's just going to look that much better. And now, before we go, I, I want to wish you thank you very much to uh, Roger. And we're going to bring up what's coming for our next shows. And that is, is that starting actually Wednesday, we are launching a special initiative we're calling NDI November. So, Roger, I'm going to say goodbye to you. And we're going to roll some little... NDI footage before I get everyone excited about what's coming up here because what's coming up we're bringing to you the big man himself Dr. Cross is going to kick off he is our inaugural NDI November speaker me and him are going to do one of our interviews we haven't done in a long time we're going to talk to him about basically the NDI life we're going to start in the beginning I think and go over what NDI is and how it's grown then we're going to really jump into how NDI where it is today and where he thinks it's going. You know, a little over a year ago, BizRT formally purchased New Tech, and that purchase has allowed Dr. Cross to have even more engineering resources. So looking forward to talking to him. And then at 11.3, we're going to bring in the guys from Bird Dog. We're going 4 p.m. because we're waking up. Is it Eamon or Dan? Yeah. Dan. We're waking up Dan at 4 in the morning Australian time, and he's going to come on the show with us. So we want to appreciate that. We're going to have Bird Dog as the spotlight. But for the first two weeks of November, starting with November 1st, we're going to be showing you multiple webinars every week just featuring NDI, our NDI partners and who we're working with. And we're working on having an actual NDI roundtable at the end of the show where we're going to get some different people to talk about NDI with us. So looking forward to that. November First two weeks of November, all NDI from Video Guys were really excited. Today's show was a great show on the Shogun 7 and on the Atomos product line. I want to thank Roger Chow for coming in. He did a great job. And once again, asking you to know, like us, follow us, do all that good stuff that helps our social media, that gets us more popular, lets us do more stuff and bring more things to you. So this is Gary from Video Guys. Looking forward to uh, seeing you next week. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for